what's happening? This is uh, Brian Dawkins from the uh, Denver Broncos. Here, ch here to chat with you for a little bit. Well, the, up the, the update is is we're working um, as hard as we can to make sure that uh, football is played uh, this coming year. And uh, believe us, we won't. We're, we're not going to rest. We're not going to sit down and and just take it easy while all this stuff is going on. We're going to make sure we're doing everything we can to make sure that this game is played. Because at the end of the day, um, I know you guys are fans, and we we thank you for everything that you do bring to the table. But we are fans as well. We love this game. We don't just play it just to play it. We don't play it just because it's our jobs. We love this game. We've been playing this game for a long time. So um, just let you know we're doing everything we can. I'm, I'm part of the executive committee, and um, we are privy to a lot of information that the um, the whole board is not always and we try to do our best to make sure that the information that is um, relayed down is very important information to be given to the to, to the board reps upon us when we were a union. Now that we're not a union anymore, that's clear to make sure that you guys understand that we're not a union anymore. We're, we're a trade association, but our role is still the same, to make sure that we just, you know, send out the information and uh, we make decisions for the whole body uh, when, when that time is called for. One of the things we continue to talk about is to the – the safety and health of the player. Um, with all the things that are coming out and what we're found, finding out more and more as far as the con con concussion, excuse me, concession, concussions that, uh, that we endure playing this game and the other things that go on, go on with us. And talking to the former players and some of the things that are happening in lieu of some of the suicides that have happened, we have to take those things in consideration as far as when we finish this game because we're all going to be former players. We're going to be former players long as they, longer than we're players, the majority of us. Um, and so um, we have to make sure that the games are safe, um, as, must say, as safe as possible, for in order for us to add two more onto an already grinding season. And as of right now, it, the studies just don't add up to, to us playing two more games, adding adding them on to what's already going on and what we already put our bodies through as it is. The biggest um, question is, uh, you know, what's the biggest thing we will be missing in the off season? Team camaraderie, working out together, family coming to games, practice, etc. The biggest thing you're missing during the off season is <clears throat> is the conditioning. Um, you know, when you are able to condition at the facilities for the guys that um, you know wouldn't probably work out as you know quite as hard or be pushed quite as hard by their teammates while you're working out by yourself that's a huge advantage and as well also the practices because you know obviously in, in Denver uh, being that we have a new coach that would be time that we would be missed on the practice field if we're not able to do things during the uh, the offseason of sports practice and, and, and going through the plays and even getting the playbook you know we don't even know what the playbook looks like so those are things that especially new coaches will be missing out on new players um, new um, the players of new coaches that are coming in the league and obviously we have a couple of teams that fall up under that category and as far as everybody else the camaraderie is always a thing because you you go through the the, the grinding days of the off season and 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 in and, and training camp you build something there and you build something strong so that when you get later in the season hopefully you're still in the race you're able to draw upon one another because you've already been through a tr trying time early in the season. So uh, when, the, when it comes later in the season, you, you've already weathered a lot of storms and you've been through a lot of th storms together. Um, question is, what are some of the things, me, me, being, me being that I've played a long period of time, what are some of the things that I've told some of the younger players about the situation is to be well informed. Be informed through the right media outlet. Um, you know, a lot of things that are being said right now are just flat out, you know, some of the things are, are not true. Um, and we're making sure that those young guys come to the right sources to get the, the true information because that's all we're trying to provide, the right information for them to be empowered with information. When you have information, you're empowered to make, you know, the right decisions. And so the thing that I tell those young guys of right now is to make sure you're, you're empowered with the right information. Well, I, I would like to thank um, – all the fans for uh, your support and, um, and and what you've allowed us to do for a living, to be honest with you. Um, the, the reason why we're able to do what we do for a living and, you know, do the things that we do love to do in the first place is because of your outpouring love for the game of football. So, uh, like I said, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that that game 
that has blessed so many families over the years and continue to bless families um, as, as we talk here today. Um, football back being played very soon and us be, being back in practice real soon. So, uh, you know, stay encouraged and understand that, you know, we're going to do everything in our power to make that happen. All right. Thank you.